Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about trust and goodwill in the comic book community. One of our own has been scorned, one of our own has been hurt. Swaggle House Comics, a prominent YouTuber in the community, has been taken advantage of. He's been robbed of almost $5,000 worth of comic books. And these aren't just any comic books, these are major keys, including First Appearance of Galactus, I think it was First Black Panther, big time books are now gone out of his possessions because of a scammer. So what happened? Um, if you guys are not aware, Swaggle House Comics made a trade, made a deal with a person that's seemingly trustworthy on Instagram. So the trade happened where Swaggle House was sending these books to Chicago and then sh the, the person in Chicago was going to be sending him back an X-Men number one. So the book from Chicago came to the LA area, apparently had to be rerouted, got sent back, red flag for whatever reason, sent back to Chicago while Swaggle House's books were delivered safely and securely to the person in Chicago. So this trade happened where the guy in Chicago, the scammer, got everything and Swaggle House was left with nothing. So his video, I'll, I'll direct you to, to him if you want to hear the whole breakdown. But my video is, is a reaction, a response to this. I've never really, really thought it could happen until now. Trust and goodwill in the comic book community and how important and how integral it is to our little community we have. So what do I mean by, well, let me define something. What do I mean by goodwill? So if you're not aware, goodwill is, it's, it's, a, it's an ag active business entity. It is a business term. So if you were to buy a business or you were to buy a practice of some sort, for example, when you buy their client base or their patient base, you are getting something you're, part of the purchase price is something called goodwill. And what that means is, is those clients, those, those, those patients, you are buying them with the assumption that that pa patient base or that, that follower base or whatever it is, is going to stay with you. Huge portions of these purchase prices can, can go for that. So sometimes when you're buying a building or buying the equipment, that can be a just a, a sliver of how much this business or this practice is, and the goodwill could be significantly more. There's expectations not only from the person buying it that they're getting this actual client base that's uh, good and is going to stay with you, but there's also the expectation from the um, the patient or the the client that they are getting something similar. They're getting the same type of quality product or quality service that they've come to expect. So the reason I bring that up is there has to be so much trust and goodwill in so many interactions we have in business overall. And none of that is more evident than an Instagram interaction buying a comic book. So if we do not have trust and we do not have goodwill, this whole system fails. If I go onto a claim sale or you watch my stupid little uh, live claim sales and you see that I'm, I'm putting up Uncanny X-Men 266 and it's for sale for $150. Well, there is a certain level of trust that you, the buyer, is going to pay me for this book. So I'm going to set it aside, hold it for you until you pay me. And then there's certain expectations that I am going to actually send you a copy of Uncanny X-Men 266 in the condition in the book that you thought that it was going to be. That's very just, I can cavalier, that, I mean, that's very cavalier for me to say that, and it's like assumed, but it's not assumed. The comic book community has built this level of trust and goodwill. This has taken time. This has taken effort. This has taken so many sales, so many, so many good experiences for this to be built up. This can all be broken down in situations like this. It only takes one or two or a handful of times for something like this to have all of this trust thrown away and gone away. What makes the comic book community so special is this level of trust, this level of understanding that we are all collectors, that we all love this hobby, 
that we all understand how expensive and how rare and how important these things are and how important it is to this community that we can share and have these things shared with us. The troops were rallied behind this situation and it has, it has kind of reinvigorated uh, my trust and love for this community because I just, you know, let's just face facts. Some, some of my recent videos have been kind of negative experiences where I've kind of bashed on comic book dealers, I've kind of bashed on c conventions, and specifically this reseller, this flipping, this whatnot market mentality. We are getting a large influx of people into this that are not true collectors, and I think we all realize that. We're getting people in this that see a trustworthy community, a community that's built on trust and goodwill, and we're seeing people trying to exploit that. Now, obviously, I'm not, I know I harp on whatnot, and I, I, there's a lot of good sellers on there that if you buy, you know, if, if you're buying something, you're going to get what you pay for. I, I realize that, and I, I will admit that. But the type of people that we are getting into this community, they're not comic lovers. They're not collectors. They're not fans. They're flippers. They're scammers. They're resellers that are trying to make a quick buck because they see that these are good people that are, are people of their word. This is what's scaring me. This is what's making me worried about this long term is, is if this continues to happen, if we keep seeing situations like this where somebody buys something and whatever it is doesn't show up to their door and not the fault, fault of the postal service, it's a conscientious effort for somebody to scam them. A couple things. So trading on online and trading in this comic book community. Um, there is so much trust. There, there, there's another level as opposed to just the 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 exchange of, of money over PayPal, friends and family, or Cash App or whatever for something. There, there, there. That's a that's a certain level. But another level is the trade. So when you're trading for something, and I've never done this, I've reached out to people uh, in regards to trades. But l let me just let me just say this. You are having to send your book, your books or book or whatever, and, and hope that that other person is also sending that those books, their books, to you at the same time. A lot of times, people organize it so that it's like you guys are shipping out your things on the same day. Well, I mean, that, that is just a whole nother level of trust. And to be honest, I mean, I would only attempt to do something like that with people that I've done business with before, um, or you know, somebody who's like a real reputable person in the community. I mean, to do to do that with any random Joe. I mean, um, whew, that that is that is risky business. And from the perspective of these big dealers, you, you have to put yourself in their shoes. I mean, all I have to prove myself. You have to prove yourself for being reputable because I mean very likely if they've got like 10,000 20,000 followers or whatever on Instagram you know they're obviously doing something right you know me Joe Blow that's coming in there and saying yeah I'll trade you this Hulk 181 or whatever it's like the burden of proof is on me what I'm getting at here is the trust the goodwill we have in this community we can't take this for granted but the troops got rallied for Swaggle House and this whole situation, and it has kind of lit a fire under me. Of we are, we are a community. We are, we are protecting each other. We are looking out for each other. Um, you know, it, it, it. From what I was seeing in that video and the explanation, I mean, I think things kind of got a little antagonistic with some of the people like trying to find this guy and you know things they were saying, which. I think he handled it extremely well, much better than I would, because my experience with being kind of scammed, I've, I've talked about this on the, ch on the channel before, where I bought several books from a convention, this has been years ago at this point, and um, there were certain things that were wrong with the books that were not disclosed to me, that part of it was my fault for not seeing it at the convention, but majority of the fault lies on the seller for not disclosing these defects specifically a book being trimmed, a book having an extra internal staple, 
things like that where it was like, I miss those things. I miss those things at the convention and I was I, I got kind of ripped off, taken advantage of. So what I did was I basically reached out back to that person and you know, it's this community is very small. If you get labeled as somebody who sells crap books, who sells uh, things that it, the, the buyer doesn't get exactly what they're they're wanting or what they were what they thought they were buying. I mean, you can be just destroyed, cast out out of this out of this community. If I was in his position and I had the follow base, the follower base that he has, I would have. I don't think I would have handled that with as much tact because um, I mean that's a lot of money and those are big books and that. It's not only the money; it's that it's that feeling of being violated. It's that uh, that you're you put trust in something, and or somebody, and it it completely was broken. It was you were you were defiled. It, it's uh, it's hard to come back from that. I, I would I hope he and other people aren't swayed by this. I'm galvanized by it. I, I'm I'm excited that the troops got rallied. The books got found. Things happened, um, and at least this is being somewhat corrected. He's get him. Um, he he's getting more promotion for this. He's he's alerting people to this in the community. I mean, it's all. It it really is a good good news for him in a lot of ways. You know, obviously he lost some money and lost some books, but I mean, he's getting more exposure. He's alerting people to this scammer he's alerting people to this idea that this can happen and that we need to take care of each other overall you want to take something positive from it it is that guys have you guys ever been scammed have you ever been ripped off in the comic book community in person or online let me know i hope you guys enjoyed this video if any point in time you like this video give the thumbs up and if you like this video subscribe for more take care